presenting my RF24 wireless mesh network. We have here four nodes, starting from node 00, going to node 0111. So we have here a button to turn on the LED on node 011, which is this one. We also have potentiometers to control the servos. One servo on node 0111 and one servo on node 01. On node 01, we have a potentiometer to control the LED on 0111. And on node 011, we have a potentiometer to control the LED on node 00. To begin, we'll now turn it on. So first, we will control the LED to turn it on and off on node 011. You just press the button. As you can see, it turns on. Another press will turn it off. And now, we are to control the servo on node 01 using this potentiometer here. And we also control the servo on node 0111 using this potentiometer here. Now on node 01, we will control the LED on node 0, 1, 1, 1. And on node 0, 1, 1, we will control the LED on node 0, 0. see that the LED turns from green, yellow to red at the maximum value. Uh, only green and yellow are lit up with a value of 170. And at about 80, only the green LED is lit up. No LEDs are lit up with a value of zero. There are plenty of examples on how to connect servos and LEDs online. So I won't be explaining it any further on this topic. However, the code for the four node setup will be provided in the link. Look what happens when I turn off one node. For example, node 011. There won't be any communication to node 0111 because node 011 is offline. So to check, you see that there's no value being received on the display for node 00. And also we cannot control this servo on node 0111 because node 011 is offline.
we can only control the servo on node 01 because it is online. Likewise, we cannot control the LED on node 0111 because it goes through node 011. See, there's nothing happening unless we turn it on. Now, communication is established again, and now we can control the signal. At node 00, we have set up the required libraries, declared the nodes that we're going to receive and send data from. I've also used MILIS to introduce intervals before sending and receiving the data. We have declared a pin for the LED and one for the button. In the setup, we declared the LED as an output and the button as an input pull-up. So in the loop section, we are receiving the potentiometer value from node 011 and we are writing it to the LED to control the brightness and we are also sending data to three other nodes so we are controlling the servo at node 01 we are getting the potentiometer value from the A0 pin on the microcontroller and mapping it out then to control the LED at node 011 we are reading the button state from pin 2 and sending it to node 011 and for node 0111 we are taking reading from the second potentiometer from the analog pin A1 and then mapping it out and sending it to node 0111 now we are controlling the LED brightness from node 00 by sending data from node 011 reading from the analog 0 on the microcontroller and then mapping it out and sending it to node 00. So from node 00 we are toggling the LED on node 011 from here we are receiving the data and then changing the button state and then toggling the LED on and off from node 01 we are sending the potentiometer value to node 0111 to control the LED from node 00, we are reading from the potentiometer and then sending it to node 0111 and then writing it to the servo.